Hello and welcome again. So now let's discuss why did we develop the course. So just to stress on what probably we have already touched on, but it is very important to be able to get yourself exposed to the technologies or the hottest skills right away. I mean, who of us wouldn't want to start and two months later he has the hot skills and then he gets paid high, um, high salaries and at reputable um, companies or institutes or vendors and life is good. But the, the fact of the, the matter of the fact is it's always challenging. So you look at it here and then you think, how can I go this way instead of having to go through a longer path to get to ACI? And this is what this course is all about. In, in previous uh, courses, we have received feedback that says, okay, but I, I'm happy with the ACI introduction, for instance, but I don't know much about the data center architecture. I don't know what is the existing data center architecture to be able to contrast it to ACI and see the benefits and the differences and the pros and cons. So a lot of people wanted to get into ACI, but they thought it's like an uphill. So they went back and they tried to climb it slowly, going CCNA, CCNP, da 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 da, da the legacy, uh, uh, the two old decade plan that network professionals have been using. And I personally have used it long time ago. So just to reiterate the thing that many feedbacks received on ACI, introducing course, introduction course requested adding data center information and elaboration on data center architectures and how that contrasts to ACI. And it is in line with a course that I just launched a few days ago, which is the IT career planning for network professionals and to get the best outcomes. So now the aspirants at the CNA level, do they have to wait ages until they get to the hot skills? This course make, ensures that they can explore and understand ACI and, and hot skills earlier on without having to go through the longer path. And also it shortens the time where the individuals, they can start to add to their skill set, the hot skills, and they don't have to go through the longer path. So I'm just reiterating the same longer path, longer path, longer path, not to, to get you to feel bored, but it's more to tell you that the current plans, the ones everyone gets into the networking domain, starts with and follows, it takes a long time. I think if you are dedicated doing nothing else, it would take you one one year or one year and a half to get the CCNA, CCNP, Network Plus, and then to get routing and switching CCIE. So what the alternative I'm offering here is you can follow that, that path if you want, because I need you to have a solid foundation on the CCNP level at least. Okay, so all the knowledge in the CCNA, CCNP, and Network Plus, I want you to understand. But I am not, I'm not asking you to get the CCNA certificate and a CCNP certificate and then get into a CCIE routing and switching certificate as well. And then it takes you a lot of money, a lot of effort, a lot of sweat. I would rather you spend that money, effort, and sweat into a direction that will get you to the hotter skills directly. And this course is in line with what I believe in and what I just told you. What would this course provide? It provides you a lot of things. The most important one is what is here at the bottom. It allows you to explore the hot skills now and not later on, okay? So it gives you a quick review and explanation at a high level. So again, I'm not going to give you here hands-on labs and commands and all that. I'm going to explain to you the concept, the solutions, the technologies, the architectures that are relevant and are required to fill the gaps between CCNA level knowledge and get you ready to ACI. Okay, so I'll, we'll touch the main concepts. We'll take the net network segments that are critical to understanding the ACI introduction course. So anything that is a gap between CCNA and ACI, we'll cover it here. And we'll stress on some CCNA uh, knowledge as well. It is an expedited start to the mastery of Cisco SDN solution, Software Defined Network Solution, and we will discuss throughout the course what is this exactly. ACI is the Cisco Data Center SDN solution. It boosts the aspirant's confidence. So I want this course to boost your confidence that you can jump into hot skills quickly and it, you don't have to follow the crowd and take you two, three, four years and let the job control whether you'll be exposed or not. And I don't want you as well 
to be kind of skeptical or hesitant, thinking that you are not confident enough, you are not qualified enough at the moment to start knocking on these doors. I, I want you to be assured and confident that you can do it and you can do it now. The course also explains a lot of concepts that and solutions that are not known to beginners. And it helps avoid a lot of time. So let's say you get courageous after I said that and you leave this course and you jump immediately into ACI. What will happen is you'll go in through ACI, probably the start will be fine and it also depends on the instructor and how he explains things. But you would find that now you are stumbling with something that he's mentioning or the course is mentioning that you don't know about. So you have to pause the course and then you have to go back, pick up a book, go to Wikipedia, internet, Google, wherever, maybe another training course, try to find out. So what did they mean by services insertion into a data center? Why is, how do we do data centers today? So what does the data center look like today? What do you mean by a ser server a load balancer? What do you mean by next generation firewall? So instead of keep jumping back and forth between ACI and that, and hopefully uh, you would be resistant and you will not lose faith or just drop it, this course avoids you going through all that. This course will give you the information that you need. And if you assimilate and grasp the information in this course properly, you can straight go into, you can go straight into ACI introduction course and I am confident that you will, you will be listening in and you will be understanding most, if not all, of everything that is mentioned in that course. Another good question. Now, I know my friend has done CCNA, CCNP, and Network Plus. And of course, if you are lucky and you are in North America, and especially in the US, it's a huge market, big market, maybe in some parts in Europe as well and some parts in Australia, you will find a job and probably the, the, the pay will be average with CCNP. But this is not what I want you to target. If you are investing money and time and effort and sweat, then you should target top dollars. When you get to the top dollars, you taste the sweetness of being financially stable. And you know how you got there, so you will not leave it. So always you will be after the skills, the right skills to, get, to always keep earning top dollars. Now, okay, but why ACI? Why not something else? It is, the ACI is Cisco's data center solution. So why do I care about Cisco's data center solution? Why not Juniper solution? Why not A10? Why not Extreme Networks, Brocade, whoever else? There is a fact that no one can deny, and it's public on the internet. Cisco owns or has 60% data center infrastructure market share globally. So now when you, when, you, when you acquire the hot skills that Cisco is pushing, that means you have up to 60% chance of being hired by one of the top clients of Cisco. Because when we're talking about Cisco data center infrastructure, we're not talking about $100 hardware or $1,000 or $100,000 hardware. We're talking about data centers that has millions, seven digits of Cisco hardware into them. Cisco data center clients will refresh to ACI in one to four years. I have worked personally for Cisco before, and I know how aggressive Cisco gets when they're trying to push a solution or a paradigm shift or a trend into the market. And now they are on it, and, and they, will, they will make it happen. I know for sure that they have been successful. The announced number of uh, customers they have now, I heard different numbers, 1,000, 1,200, 1,500, whatever it is. But there is a lot of customers who are doing this and there's a lot of, I'm talking about established clients, rich clients, big companies that they are shifting to this and they see the value. And at the end of the course, you will see the value of, of uh, ACI and SDN as well. Mastering those skills early than others, what does it mean? That means it exposes you to better opportunities and more um, job chances or more probability that you land a decent job with a decent pay, a good job with a, with a good pay. And since the network domain is, is changing, and we will explain, also we'll touch on that, and also the other course I recommended at the beginning, will touch heavily on that and what changes are happening. So you need to be an early adopter. You adopt it early. That means you are one of the few or the, the scarce pool of resources that have the skill, which means clients will be looking for 
and then you will be one of them. Vendors even will be looking for that, and you will be one of them. I have seen personally over the past few months Cisco having job requisitions and job posts asking for people with ACI and, and, and SDN uh, knowledge, with cloud knowledge, with NFV knowledge. Okay, so that is what Cisco is hiring for. They are not hiring now for uh, routing and switching CCIE. They may, they may be hiring, but not for the hot skills, not for the domains that Cisco is betting is going to make them a lot of money in the next few years. So mastering hot skills is top dollars. So now if you go through this, hopefully you see the point why ACI is important. And this course again will prepare you to ACI.